Welcome back to Quiz Throne. Today I'll be telling you some jokes, and you just need to laugh and share a comment with the one you like the most. Joke 1. I call this one the cheeky student's joke. Listen carefully. A professor is having lunch in the cafeteria when a student sits down across from him. The professor says with a smirk, birds and pigs don't eat together. The student replies, sorry, then I'll fly away. Embarrassed at being outsmarted, the professor decides to fail the student on the test the following week, but the student answers all the questions perfectly. So the professor gives him an additional problem. You're in the street and you find two bags, one filled with money and one with intelligence, which one do you choose? The student replies, the bag filled with money. The professor says, I would have chosen intelligence. The student responds, people always take what they don't have. The professor swallows his anger and marks the student's paper with jerk in the margin. The student takes his paper, sits down and after a few minutes approaches the teacher again. He says, sir you signed it but you forgot to grade it. Joke 2. Ready for another one? I call this one, the chaos. It goes like this. The teacher is late and the fifth grade is making an awful ruckus. Alerted, the head supervisor rushes in and finds the class disarray. What is this mess? Who did this? I want the culprit to have courage to come forward or else you will all be punished. One student raises his hand. It was me who threw inks on the wall. Another raises his finger. It was me who threw chalk in the hallway. Then a third. It was me who threw mud out the window. Well, since you all come forward you won't be punished. At that moment, the door opens. And a kid's comes in covered in dust, clothes torn and bloody knees. Where do you come from? The head supervisor exclaims, exasperated. You have gone too far, 20 days of detention. Give me your name. And why are you in such a mess? I'm mud, I was thrown out the window. Joke 3. This one is my preferred one, I love it. It's called, The Rude Parrot, and it goes like this. A young man named John received a parrot as a gift. The problem was, the parrot had a bad attitude and even worse vocabulary. Every word out of the bird's mouth was rude, obnoxious, and laced with profanity. Finally, John was fed up and he yelled at the parrot. The parrot yelled back. John shook the parrot and the parrot got angrier and even more rude in desperation. John threw up his hand, grabbed the bird and put him in the freezer. For a few minutes, the parrot squawked and kicked and screamed. Then suddenly, he was totally quiet. Not a peep was heard for a minute. Hearing that he'd killed the parrot, John quickly opened the door of the freezer. The parrot calmly stepped out onto John's outstretched arm and said, I believe I may have offended you with my rude language and actions. I am sincerely remorseful for my inappropriate transgression, and I fully intend to do everything I can to correct my rude and unforgivable behavior. John was stunned at the change in the bird's attitude. As he was about to ask the parrot what made such a dramatic change in his behavior, the bird continued. Can I ask you? What did that chicken do? Joke 4. This one is a classic. It's called On the Beat. A man walks into a bar. He suddenly realizes his bloated stomach needs some relief. Luckily for him, the music is blasting so he starts to sink his farts to the beat of the song. After two songs he begins to feel a lot better. He walks up to the bar and orders his drinks loudly, trying to talk over the music. The barman leans over, takes the guy's earphones out of his ears and says. You don't need to shout, and the toilet is over there. Joke 5. I love this one too. It's called kindness. A blind old lady gets on a bus. Sadly, all the seats are taken. An old man looks around and sees that nobody is willing to give up their seats for her. After a moment of hesitation, he takes her gently by the hand and guides her to a seat. He takes a standing spot and scowls at the passengers as the bus starts up. Later, an old man is sitting on a bench with bruises all over, crying. A passerby approaches him. Why are you crying? Because I lost my job as a bus driver. So that's it, 5 jokes as promised. Share in the comments which one you like the most, or add your own joke so that I can make a video of it in our next joke collection. And please remember to like and subscribe. See you soon and goodbye.